Okay, we're going to take a quick look at Fractal Alchemist here by Sandbase, and he's come up with a whole new program. And this is a real laboratory experience of the uh, anomalies, really, of mathematics that create such incredibly intricate um, designs and patterns from nature. And you, it starts off, you're in the, uh, in the lab, and you can start with just a single cube. And it looks like, what are we doing here? Ah uh, yes, we're expanding the number of variables and pieces of code that can be added to the uh, original formula. So now we're plugging in, and we see what we have here. But we have nothing really to view until we start moving this little slider. And this begins to show you what's happening as you zoom into that particular formula. And then there's a series of um, plugins, so to speak, where you can uh, start varying the, the intensity of the graphic. At any time, you can click on the image, and you're right inside the 360 world you're creating. So let's see what happens when we add a little color. Again, boom. We get an incredible ability to cycle through a vast array of color combinations in our design. And we can get very much more specific when we call up the color palette itself by clicking on the prism. Here you manually can change those colors at a slower rate by selecting the primaries at the top and then scrolling through and adjusting accordingly. So you can get very precise color combinations that you may be looking for in your image. And I don't know what the limit is here, but it's probably 32 million or billion <laughs> colors have gotten so outrageously uh, variable. But yeah, continuing to add color features, this controls different parts of the formula. So you can change your color schemes um, almost ad infinitum, I would say. Yeah. It's fantastic to be able to just click on the fractal and come inside it. And in a VR headset, of course, it's amazing because it's your whole head is inside the fractal. And you can take a picture. It's got this funky old camera here that just is too much. Really looks great. And you can scan the image, and this will save it in full 360 in stereoscopic. So these images can be used later in some of your projects, or just to look at, create a video slideshow or whatever. This little pressure gauge here is a pretty cool idea too in the lab. And of course you have samples, which you can pick from. And just by hovering your uh, pointer over these, you get a little preview, which is absolutely ex uh, you know, an excellent way to save your formulas and retrieve them. You go back to work on what you were working on in the previous session or sessions, as, as the case may be. Yeah. The sand, this is, I, I would say this is kind of a classic sand base uh, fractal. He's got these incredibly um, unusual shapes and forms in his work. Um, so yeah. And these are worthy of a full expo exploration all in themselves. Got lots of options there in the little menu, so you can return to the center of the fractal. You can use the joystick to move forward and really get into an exploration. Now, that forward motion and um, exploration will be vary in terms of what kind of computer you're running. 
and video card particularly, processor, etc. But I'm <clears throat> uh, I'm using a 970. In this case, this was probably filmed using something a little bit faster. But I think I wait. His is 0 0.9. <laughs> Point nine of a second to render one of those. I'm probably spending two to three seconds to render my images, but hey, it's worth the wait, trust me. Yeah, some beautiful samples. And this 16K mode, poof, wow. Now we're talking resolution. It'll be interesting to see whether that actually works on the. Uh, older video cards, but uh, yeah, I'd wait for that. You've got the manual, he's got, uh, you got your photo collection. Every time you take the camera out and take a shot, it's stored in the photo book. And um, looks like you can get right back into the 360 on that one as well. So you have a samples book, you have a photo book, and you have the, the overall manual if you want to delve into the depths of what this program can do. But it's an excellent way for novices to, uh, to explore the incredibly complex mathematics behind fractal generation. <clears throat> 